Hey everybody, Chad here. In five minutes or less, I'm gonna take you through the process of installing Docker and Kind, which is Kubernetes in Docker. So in a browser, type in Docker Desktop uh, for Mac. Click on Install Docker Desktop on Mac. And then uh, for me, it's gonna be the silicon uh, version or the silicon chip, uh, but uh, choose your uh, chip architecture here. And so we'll wait for that to download. And once it downloads, we'll double click it drag that over to the applications folder and then in our applications folder we'll go ahead and double click on it and double click on docker desktop or just docker that will open up docker and we'll go ahead and accept the terms and use the recommended settings and we'll enter our local password and we can bypass this tip of the week and skip the introductory questions there. So now it's starting the Docker engine. And so we'll wait for that to start up so we can install some containers. And so we'll go back to the browser and I'll go to our kind Kubernetes page to access the quick start there. And so we'll click on quick start and we'll click on installing with a package manager. And since I'm on Mac OS, I'll use brew, but first I have to install brew. So if you don't have brew installed already, let's go ahead to brew.sh and use that command and paste it into a terminal. And we'll uh, enter our local user password again, and it should be quick, pretty quick to install. And so we'll just wait for that to install completely so we can just take the command from the docs, brew install kind, and uh, command not found. And so I have to actually follow the instructions after I install brew and uh, copy and paste these commands in to add that to my shell. And once I do that, I can do brew, brew install kind again, and it'll go through the process of installing kind. And now that kind is installed, I can do kind create cluster. And that'll just create a one node cluster for me with the uh, latest version. So 1.26.3 in this case. The uh, version might be different for you. So just uh, depending on when you're running this command, it may be a more recent version. Once it's installed, uh, once it's created, I should say, we can go to uh, view the container that's running, which is going to serve as our Kubernetes uh, control plane node. And then I always like to exec into the container just to make sure that I don't have to install any other prerequisites, essentially. So I can do kubectl get nodes and and uh, I don't have to install kubectl on my, on my actual desktop. And that's it.